современное предприятие. It's a state of the art enterprise которые производят продукцию, что и удовлетворяют потребительский рынок. Which produce dairy milk and uh, fulfill the supply to the consumers. Здесь применяются современные технологии. We've seen modern technology. Но из скандинавских стран. From Scandinavia. Применяются самые лучшие упаковочные материалы. Uh, we've seen one of the best packing materials. Задействовано очень мало людей. And very few people working here. Все процессы автоматизированы. It's fully automatic. Мы полагаем, что качество продукции высокое. Потому что большое будущее с таким предприятием. Это подобное предприятие развивать. На других территориях Зимбабве добавляют новые. And add something new in other territories of Zimbabwe. We'll see. Similar. Parallelly, we should develop the production of milk and cereals for the farmers. But what is also needed is to develop agriculture to provide raw milk to such enterprises. The most important part is that the farmers are only 30 percent. We've got to know that only 30 percent capacity is operational in the enterprise. The most important part is milk. So they need a lot of raw milk. And Belarus can help with producing this raw milk, giving raw milk to the such enterprises. There is a lot of milk needed for to make this enterprise work at full capacity. As what we got a liter of milk. As what we got, the impression is 10 million liters per month is the full capacity of this enterprise, and now it's only three. So we we had Dindiri here in Kweping. Uh, it's a state-of-art facility as we've seen today. Uh, we've been with His Excellency the Deputy Prime Minister of, uh, of Belarus, uh, taking him around to some farms. After this trip, we're also going to uh, a farm owned by Dendiri. Uh, what's critical is that we need to ensure that we utilize our full capacity as a country. As we heard from, from the colleagues at Dendiri, uh, they're only at 30% capacity. So what we hear from the Belarusians is that they're very keen to help us uh, close the deficit as well as help local companies uh, to produce uh, to their full capacity. Uh, when we get to full capacity, in terms of productive capacity, that means we are exporting. So you can tell what level of relationship we are currently at with the Belarusians. Uh, they have superior uh, genetics, which we want to tap into. Uh, they also have very good uh, technology and knowledge, so we also want to tap into that. So we want to blend uh, everything together. We want to bring in their expertise, we want to bring in their technologies to see how we can help our farmers. Because the major challenge, obviously, is the production of raw milk in Zimbabwe. Uh, the capacity is what we've seen the last uh, two days when we've been to Dairy Board uh, to date, Dendiri, and then yesterday also at Nestle, is that definitely our local companies have the capacity to produce more milk related uh, or dairy related products. Uh, so this is what we want to tap into. Uh, but he is very impressed, as, as you can clearly see from his interview. And, uh, and so that's what we want. We want to, to, to give the world the correct impression of Zimbabwe. We are serious. We do want to do it, but we just need a little bit of support to get to. Okay, so currently we're producing between three and three and a half million liters per month. But that's split between long life milk, fruit juice, yogurt, fermented milk being Mars, um, ice cream, and um, uh, milk powder. We have capacity for 10 million liters, but we're sitting at between 30 and 35 percent at the moment. Um, it's just about getting our products back into the market, given the tum tumultuous situation that we've been in. But the, on our side, raw milk is picking up, and that raw milk will mean that we can build into that capacity. Yes, there's certain uh, raw materials that we can purchase from them where we're currently buying from, from other countries um, that we can redirect to them. I've actually got samples from them and in the next day I'll know if they pass our, our quality control and we will look at, at procuring from Belarus. Power is a big challenge um, yeah, and uh, that's, that's why we showed off our drop system which, which allows us to intercept the power, clean it and provide un uninterrupted power to the factory. So we've mitigated it, but it still costs a lot to run the generators when the zest is off. 